Well, hi, this is a uh, quick unboxing of the electric drill by Tamiya, and this is the kit. And basically, here's the one I've been using for a number of years now, and it works really well. Uh, four screws all together, it's click fit mainly, but I'll show you that in a minute. So that's the one, but here we've just proved it. This is it. The kit number is 2400, or the item number is also is 74041. There you go, so, and it's a pretty straightforward kit. It's a kit, so it's actually, you're doing a model still. And I've undone the bags to make it easier. And these are the parts in the box. I'll just show you what's in the box, there you go. That's what's in the box. And I'll show the first two bits first, which is the main pistol. I call it uh, shooting holes, because <laughs> it, it feels like a little gun. So there you go, that, that's the parts of the bit. Looks nice. Very straightforward. This is a bit the ammy is the bit that doesn't actually it just clicks into place for it to change the two batteries. And the batteries are two, two double A's. Really good. And they last a long time, I must admit. And I'll be drilled all those holes on the on the actual Nelson. And she's still working really fine now, and I've actually used it a lot before that. So really good. A useful tool, and it is nice and comfy in the hand as well. Which is nice. So you're just doing that with your drilling holes. And obviously, if you're getting in small fiddly areas, it might not be not so nice. But most of my drilling is is done with this, in the way of on the models, because it's for, the motor isn't so strong and powerful. So it just it, it just burns through easily. So there you go. That's them. That's the two main the main body parts and the battery case closer. I'm not going to take them off the sprue, obviously. I put it over there. This lovely coloured bit is to do with the uh, the gearing of the of the actual. Get your gear in. I don't know if it's gonna. Here it is. Lovely, you can see what I mean. The cogs for the, the actual drill, it tells you exactly what to do. It is pretty simple. Simple. There you go. So that's that bit. The yummy next sprue is, and I'm one more, and here it is. It's a grey sprue. And this is for the uh, more insides, the terminals, and the motor. Obviously, you get a motor with this, and there's a trigger. And this is a lock, so if you don't want it to actually switch on, you just turn it. I very rarely do that. And turn it back all the way around. And it still works. <laughs> my my mask of. Uh, um, this is lock. Oh, oh no, no. There, it's locked. I didn't go far enough with it for the lock button. There you go. So if it's like that, it's locked. I've never bothered with that because most of the time I just want to use it. So there you go. That's it, bit. Now this is a bit I'm not going to undo because this is the bit with all the, the sensitive stuff and that's with the motor and all the screws and bits, there's four screws in total to hold it together and these are the bits that actually you need for doing it. So I would undo the bag but I know my, I will actually lose it all. So it, it's, I don't know if I can get a bit closer. Yeah, you can. So there you go. So that is basic, of, I, know, I know it's a very quick one but uh, oh, Greg wanted to see what was in the box. I'll tell you what. I go silly. I run to the bag. I, th I think there's most of it's in bags, inside bags, so it should be all right. Obviously, the motor isn't, but there it is. That's the motor. Not too bad at all. Put that down. Oh. I think you can see better in the foot. There's the screws. All the contacts of the batteries, and definitely don't want to lose those. All straightforward stuff. And then you've got the actual chuck, and this one is actually silver. If you notice, my one, my one is actually black, so, and it's slightly different, but it still does the same thing. I think they just modified the design. But there, it's all in there, and that's the actual shaft as well. And you get two collets with it as well. That's what it says in the box: a small collet and a big one. Oh, there's only one in there, I think. I thought there was two. There's only one in there, but yeah. But I've got collets from from other tools, and and I've got it on eBay, and it fits them all. But it gives you a, a good choice range, and they all fit in this Tamiya drill, which is good. So anyway, so that's what that's what it all is. A really nice kit to build and it's interesting to do building the drill and then at the same time you end up with a usable tool for, for many years as long as you don't smash it of course 
I'll, I'll put these back in their packets quickly. I'll, I'll put them in the packets later on, I think, after I finish this doom. So I'm going to put that back in there. But there she is. And here's the one that I've been using for quite a few years, if I pull that over like that. Really, really good tool. And if I turn the old trigger off, the safety catch, as they call it, or lock. And that's the way I leave it. And I actually put it on a rack up here. I've got, I put on my toilet. And it fits there. I'll just go, go up to show you what There it fits up there as well. Right. So there you go, the Tamiya electric drill. Really worth a battery operated drill. Really handy tool to have for modeling. Small holes and it's very comfortable to do it if you're doing continuous. I was doing the port holes as I said on there Nelson and it was very comfortable doing it all the way through. So there you go. So thank you very much. This is a, just a quick review and uh, what's in the box of the Tamiya Tamiya Craft Tools Electric Handy Drill, as they call it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm just about to record two more updates, uh, two updates now. So, thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. Happy modeling. Sorry about that. This is part two. I forgot to do. I thought I'd done the instruction tonight, but anyway, there you go. So I'm going to bring it down a bit, and I might even hold it up. Actually, it might be better. There's a drill, gives you a few cautions on what to, to do. Tools required, screwdriver, uh, small and large, nose pliers, uh, side cutters, or a knife, and a knife, modeling knife as well, and two UM3 batteries, which is double, trip double A. So, and as you can see, it's mainly click and clip, if I do that. It's mainly pretty much number one, is just putting the basic electrical components in, which is those copper bits you actually saw in the bag. All click into place, all snap into place, as they call it here. Then you put the actual drive uh, pinion, pinion drive gear on it, on the actual motor, and, and tap it into place. Go careful with that bit, just tap it lightly. It will go into it, and it's a nice snug fit. Then you put that into where the electrics are, and, and put it in the right place, and you end up with that, and it snaps into place as well. So if I just hold that like that. Then we go to the next bit. We'll have to open up a little bit. And then we start looking at the actual, um, There you go, if you're going to free that if I lift it up. And you can see what you're doing, bits putting screws in place to alter the components into place inside. And no clue as you can see, putting this, the actual lock cap on it as well, so you can lock it if you don't want to accidentally be triggered. And that's that part. It gives you a good idea what to do there. And then the next one is the, all the gear bonus that goes in there to actually get the function of the, the, the drill. Straightforward and easy. Yep, so straightforward and easy. Plastic bearing and all the bits and pieces, shaft, that was all in the packet. And you've got to cut these pegs off, go careful, but you see, it's they actually moulded the top so it doesn't actually interfere with, interfere with the gears, which is quite lucky. And they go into place like so. And then on the other side, it's putting the final bits together, which is there. And the switch lines up. So when you switch it, switch it on and off, when you're actually using the actual uh, trigger, it actually functions. And you can see how it comes in. And that's the uh, cover as shown. That's the, the as it goes into place, that's where you remove it. And there's your batteries go in. And then you close it up. And then basically you set up for the for the actual truck and the collet, which is there, and the, and the drill place. It's straightforward. That the collet stays on there, and this this collet here stays on all the time. The chuck all stays on it all the time. And it says you've got two, so there might be another one in that box that I never pack it, I never saw. But um, but as I said, I bought a set of uh, a set set of six anyway. So and and they work really well. And I've got them on eBay as well, and they fit in my Dremel bit as well. So but the, these I normally keep them ones just for that. So this is what I'm talking about. So I think I showed that last time, but here we go. These are the ones I've got. I don't think there's an, even a name on it. No, it's not. I've just knocked them out all at the pot, so that's pretty clever, isn't it? I'll put them back in the right order later because I added them into size small, largely to smallest, but that'd be okay. And they go back up on the shelf. So yeah, so there you go. So that is basically the instructions. It's really straightforward. You can always pause it as you go through, uh, but uh, yeah. I enjoyed building it when I built it, and I most probably will build this one later on, then put it back in its box once I've tested it, so I've got a spare at some point. 
Right, there you go then. So that's the end of that. So I'll come back and put that on the old table again. There she is. Lovely kit. And um, I'll have to say it again, but happy modelling. This is definitely the end of the Tamiya's electric handy drill. Thank you very much for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy modelling. I keep saying that, don't I? Oops. That's it. Put it back in the box. Bye.